thing. She was trying on dresses with her older sister when she says all of her joints in her upper body felt like they dislocated. Paige Einhardt was a couple weeks from turning 18 and graduating high school. She was focused on the future when she found herself battling for the present. Haley Monogue has this story you'll only see here on WHAS 11. I was a quiet kid at Sacred Heart. I was just there to get my work done. And now I kind of, you know, you have your regrets when you graduate. You're like, I should have done this and I should have done that. I should have done all the clubs. On April 24th, Paige's life changed fast. She was taken to the hospital because of pain in her neck and shoulders. Then 12 hours later, she was being tubed and placed on a respirator. Transverse myelinitis, which is the inflammation of the spinal cord, um, in which that hers, unfortunately, is C2 through C4, and it affects everything below that. Paige's breathing, ability to walk, even move her hands changed but her sense of humor completely unshaken. It was terrible, be, like being a mute for a month. <laughs> oh, I'm, a, I'm so talkative, like it was terrible. She turned 18 and graduated high school all while in the hospital. As Paige and her mother Aya July release date, there has to be significant changes made to their home and Paige's room. Uh, we we'll have to have a way to get her in and out of the house, obviously. So, you know, access ramps and doors have to be widened. They're calling on their community, who has already given love and support, to financially contribute if they can. Paige has this message for anyone wondering how to feel or what to think after hearing about her story. Never take anything for granted. Walking, setting your head up, um, moving your shoulders moving your hands, kicking, like literally everything is such a blessing and I wish everybody would just learn how to truly, truly appreciate the things that they have. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Haley Minogue.